Grand Final. And uh, it's tremendous buzz around here at the present time. Every man, woman and child is on a high, really. As the football exuberance and enthusiasm envelops Balting Glass in its hinterland, two of their players are deeply involved in another sport. That's the sport of kings at which Pat Murphy and Sean O'Brien make their livelihood as grooms here at the famous Kildangan Stud in County Kildare, where we visited them. These Balting Glass footballers help take care of some of the most valuable thoroughbreds in the racing world, like the stallion Sure Dancer. After Pat Murphy was helped on board by his teammate and fellow groom, Sean O'Brien, they went through the exercise yard, and I strolled with them. But as you can guess, it was the club final on St. Patrick's Day against Clanna Gael of Roscommon that dominated our chat. Clanna Gael representing Connacht are a very experienced team at this level, and on St. Patrick's Day they'll be playing in their fourth successive final. So what kind of a side are Balting Glass who'll be representing Leinster? We are a light team and we would probably prefer better underground conditions, but we're used to it at the moment and we'll give it our best shot. Well, what's the atmosphere in Balton Glass like now? Because it's the biggest thing that's ever happened, not only Balton Glass, but the county. You can't really believe we're there. Like, you know, the, the town is absolutely buzzing. But, uh, we, we, we just, it's all a new experience to us. Like, Clannagale have been there three or four times. So they'll, be, they'll be a lot better off in the experience. Sean, is there any danger that you were so busy celebrating getting to the final that it might take away from your concentration on the match itself? Because we have actually played in Crow Park before against Ballymun Kickham's in 85 and most of the players are still there. So I wouldn't think there'd be any danger with any of us. Everyone is really looking forward to it and we have to put in a good effort in. Although it is your first time to get through and in fact the first time to win in Leinster, you've had a fairly good record in the Leinster Championship. Not really, yes. In 85 we played the Ballymun Kickham's and we went to, reach to the, went to the final. We bought Leash Bears in the replay. Since then, we have played um, Parnells, which have been twice, two years in a row. So, in the semi final. So, really looking forward to this one, really. You know, and of course, uh, Clonagh Gale have the experience, but they also have the McManuses. But you have three families. Yeah, we have three families um, three Kennys, Billy, Hugh, and um, Paul. And then we have three Murphys, Pat, Con, and Tommy, which Tommy is our trainer. So, and then we have Kevin and myself. So, we're really made up really of a family affair. So anybody outside those three doesn't get much of a look in? Ah, well, we have um, Rob McHugh, Chicky Hine, Liam Horgan. OK, Sean, well, thank you very much, and the best of luck to you. Uh, Eamon Cleary, on the day, that, the weekend that they're playing in Crow Park, you're going to be even further away in Toronto, but I suppose your heart will be with them. Oh, my heart will be down there. It'll be in Crow Park, all right. Um, even the Wexford County team, when we got the result of the bottom glass win over Castlehaven, a big cheer went up in the dressing room. That's how close we are going to be to Crow Park as well. Well, are you looking forward to this trip to the Sky Dome in Toronto? Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it very much. It's, a, it's the first time they're going over there, and that'd be nice to play there the first time. Yeah, sorry you're missing the club final, though. I'm very sorry that I've been missing that game, but I've missed all the other games as well because we've been hurling on the very same day as well. And of course, Wexford are doing fairly well up to the moment, anyhow. Oh, well, two wins. We're after having two wins there after Christmas, but that won't make an All-Ireland out of us yet. OK, well, it's certainly going to be a busy weekend for the people who work here in Kildangan Stud. Thanks very much to all of you. There was sunshine and a bitterly cold wind under the snow-capped Wicklow Hills when we called to the football field in Balting Glass, where some of the players were having a workout in preparation for the biggest day, not only in their history, but a milestone for Wicklow football. No team from the counties appeared before in an All-Ireland final at senior level, so this is a completely new experience for Balting Glass, as trainer Tommy Murphy asserted. Our team is very inexperienced at this level. We have seven or eight young players who have never played in Croke Park and uh, we are hoping that the occasion won't get to them. And we feel that if, if they play up to their foreigner, we'll be in there with a good chance. Now, you are playing against the Clannagh Gale team, who, on the other hand, have played so much there, not only for their club, but for County Roscommon as well. That's true. Uh, it's like a second home to a lot of Roscommon players. I think this is their fourth final in a row. They also played in 83 in the Nall Ireland final. And Ross Common has certainly played there a good few times in the past few years. And again, playing with a little bit more confidence now. Paul McManus giving it inside to Tony. This is Eamon McManus Jr. Hitting a rocket. Oh, a magnificent goal. They've played there so often, but they still haven't won it. That's true, and possibly might work against them, but 
at the same time they have the experience of playing there and they have the experience of playing in front of the big crowds. No, it must have been a massive boost to you to beat a team like Castlehaven who have so many of the Cork superstars in their side. Yeah, it was an extra bonus actually. Uh, the start of the year we set out to try and win the Leinster Championship and having won that we enjoyed ourselves over Christmas and then realised we had a home draw in the semi-final against Castlehaven and we came back, trained hard for the match and certainly we were delighted to beat Castlehaven. Castlehaven looking for their opening score in this match but denied on this occasion by Raymond Dan and again there's trouble and it's Kevin O'Brien with a goal at his mercy. And by now, um, certainly, if we could win in All-Ireland, it would be a huge incentive to Wicklow. Since 1980 now, we've been very much in, in, in the limelight in Leinster. And uh, this year, of course, has been our ultimate aim to win the Leinster, and we've eventually done it this year. Now, somebody was telling me that you're not even... The club doesn't uh, consist of the full parish of Balding Glass, even. Oh, no. Well, there's, I mean, there's a, a second team in, in the parish itself from Stratford, just out the road here, a senior club out there. So we're only taking up part of the parish, really. So what sort of population would you represent in the club? I'd say in the town of Bontlin, I suppose, 1,100 or 1,200 people. And what sort of a pick would the senior team have? Oh, basically speaking, I suppose, from the, the panel-wise, the panel is made up of 23 players, but yeah. they're also into, some of those are intermediate players, but they could make part of the panel as well, you know? We've had tremendous support from all over Wicklow and parts of Carlow, Kildare, and all around the neighbouring counties. Would it be a big boost to the county itself if you were to do well in the final? Oh, of course it would, for the future. I mean, Wicklow are going pretty well in the moment in, in their section in the league, and uh, for Bontlin to win an All-Ireland title for Wicklow would be a tremendous boost, yes. So the big question for St. Patrick's Day is, can Bolton Glass bring Wicklow their first ever senior title? A very exciting prospect for the little village. Our cameras will be there. And we'll bring you highlights of that match on Sports Stadium next Saturday together with the highlights of...